Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you are. Welcome to this haul video, another one. Uh, still doing hauls until I can get into the new house and start building again. So, uh, yep, yeah, let's open these boxes up and uh, I'll remember what I ordered, hopefully, um, and why I ordered it as well. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's take a look. Let's start with uh, just the smallest one. Oh wow, that's not even... Wow, that wasn't even sealed, that was just shut. Ah, it's got... Okay. <laughs> I didn't have to open anything. Oh well. Okay, so this is... Um... Right, so the other motors I had the other week was... Um, it was... There's, there's two different part numbers. Uh, is it 4804C01 and C02? So C01 was the um, one that I had uh, in last week's haul, which is the yellow, and it's got a, light, a, a, a red rudder, but this is the C02 version. Um, so, and it's just got a different rudder on it. And then, if you look here, so I've got, hang on, get the other motor. So I think this one came out first and then this one came out second and you can see they've just changed the rudder. It's exactly the same motor and model um, and except this rudder fits on inside and that one fits on outside. Um, is there, are there any other differences? Okay that's a, let's get this one off. And that, you can see slightly different propellers, that's got three blades, and that's just got two. So there you go, and that's got a metal screw, and this has got a plastic screw. So, okay, so the part number for this is actually 48064, and this is C01 and C02, and this was released in 2004 to 2008, and possibly slightly different for this one, just a little bit later, but I'll have to I'll check. Um, so these are slightly different sets, but um, yeah, so that's the difference between these two anyway, so they just modified the rudder. And this one, actually the guy um, contacted me before I bought it and just um, asked if I still wanted it because there was a knock on the chassis which is there, which is a tiny little knock, and a stress line on the motor which is there. But other than that, this is in a really good condition actually. A lot of these motors don't come with rudders, they're sort of, it's, the rudder is the missing part, so this was excellent. And the fact that he contacted me in order to check whether I really, really wanted it with the knocks is, was really good of him anyway. So there you go, that's, um, that's this one. Uh, I think, I don't know whether I can check if it's working. Let's see, good old Swiss Army knife. more difficult to unscrew than the plastic one in the uh, in C01, this one, but we'll test it just to see if it's working. The inside's nice and shiny, so that's in good condition. Let's get my battery. It's got a bit of dirt around there, but that's nothing. So let's give it a go. Okay, it sounds like it needs a bit of love. Oh no, there we go. Uh, making a bit of funny noise like a bit of vibration and things going on there but otherwise that's a working motor that's good excellent so far I have bought these motors and they all work so that's pretty good and then we'll put this screw back in just so I don't lose it just put it in a little bit Right, to the next package. This is a bit more secure. Ooh, Ooh this is cool. So, so 2004 to 2008, I was not collecting Lego at the time. Um, so I wouldn't have had a boat motor. So the way I found this boat motor is a bit weird because I thought I had a memory of playing with a Lego motor with boats but it wouldn't have been because it would have been way before they released these motors. 
And what it actually is, is I had a toy submarine with a motor that fitted the old boat, um, uh, boat weights. There were boat weights that kind of fitted at the bottom of the, um, of, of the older holes and then stuck on. But anyway, this is, is a whole kit. So I've, uh, in my quest for boat motors, I've also started looking at the actual boats themselves. This is how weird collections. And this is set 7906. There you go, uh, Kits and Bits. That was the uh, Bricklink store I got it from. And it's got instructions. I said it came with all the minifigures, all the parts and everything like that. Um, so 7906 Fireboat Kit A. It's got the uh, motor as well, another orange one here. This was when was this released? Well, there you go, Lego Shop at Home, which uh, lots of YouTubers go on about, but I was never shopping from home. I was doing it. Okay, and there's a slight rip to the cover, apparently. Yeah, there is a slight rip to the cover. But otherwise, I think the instructions are all. Look at that. Um, so there's a fire boat and it came with a motor. So the motor just fits to the hole. I, I, I thought this box was the fire boat. So I don't know what's in this. Did I put, I, I don't know what's in that. I can't remember what I've ordered. Um, but this is, oh, it's sellotaped in. So this is, ooh, so, okay, so this, is where the motor goes. If I take this off, this is pretty good pack. packing. So thank you, kits and bits. So take that off, and if we get the motor, which hasn't got a battery in, uh, I guess we can put the motor either there, or you can put the motor there. Choices, choices. Um, So there you go, and the motor just goes and you can set the rudder and it will just go round and round in circles if you wish. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if this is, right, that's the working motor and this is the word of the motor that came with this set. I should get a proper... I need a proper screwdriver, this is gonna take a little bit of time. We'll speed this up. Okay, so it's another good condition motor. And then we'll see if this goes, there's a bit of a hair going on there. That's okay. Oh. Okay, that one doesn't work. Let's try it, it could be. So we've got a Boat, but this motor does not appear to be working. Let's try. I wonder if it's just a connection. So that moved slightly, but I think it might just be a connection issue, maybe. Or it's just, I think there might be a build up of something that's causing something, it's definitely pushing against it, it's like there's something stuck in there, so it might just need a little bit of uh, a bit of TLC just to get it working again, so I'll have a look at that, but it does not appear to be working, there's some, there's some hair stuck in the axle I think, so it could just be a bit, it just needs a bit of a clean I think, I'll have a look. I'll take this off camera and then we'll maybe see it working by the end of the video once I've cleaned it up. So that one is not working at the moment, but we have the fireboat. So and it was pretty reasonable price, so I'm not that fussed about the motor, but we'll see. I think what I ordered that could be I need a box this large, but we'll have a look.
So these, this boat must have been around 2004, 2008-ish. Yeah, okay, so the fire boat was uh, 2007, it was released in. So I had, yeah, I had this motor from com a completely different toy. And for some reason, because I was using it with boats, I thought, oh, I had a boat motor with Lego and looked up boat motors. And I wouldn't have known anything about these boat motors if I hadn't have had a, a memory of playing with a completely different... It's basically a false memory of a Lego motor with boats, but it was just a motor that happened to fit on Lego boats. So, oh, this is a weird box. Okay, this is a box one. That was really, really well packaged, actually, and I, I didn't realise I must have bought this in a hurry or really late at night because I didn't realise. I think I maybe did the order on my phone, so I possibly didn't realise it was actually had a box. It was really reasonably priced as well. So here we go. So another set, probably from 2007 as well. That's no, not 2007, this is 2006. So, got a super motor and a ship floats. And it's got a helicopter with it, because every city set needs a helicopter. So, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you actually see the box on it. So, you look at the back as well. Top opens. It's just, I think boats and motors, the fact, I just like Lego sets that actually do stuff, I suppose, and town sets that do it. Like trains do stuff, you can power them and you can have them running around a, uh, a circuit, a track, a railway. Um, but yeah, boats that can do things as well is really good. So since it's open here, we've got the boat hull. It's all got the stickers on it. It looks good. It's really packed really well and it's got all the instructions as well so there we go we've got another set we've got two it's got the motor in here as well um, got to test it as well just to see if the motor is going to work it's got the rudder can I just open that no so battery and Kind of, oh no, that's, yeah, that could work, that's still going, that's got plenty of energy, that should be working well, so there we go, we've got another working motor, I'll try it with another battery just in case it's, it was a bit slow on start up, but it could just be a bit reticent to, moved since it's been doing nothing for a long time but there you go that's another working motor so we've only got one that's got a slight problem and I think that could just be an issue with having stuff caught in the uh, in the um, drive shaft of the motor and the and the uh, the prop so so two new boats to add to the boat collection and they both have motors as well 2006 for the police boat, 2007 for the fire boat. I think these um and these are I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to order from the UK just purely because I know it's a since um direct from the EU it's slightly more complicated to get stuff to the UK. Um, I'm, I ordered stuff before this from Europe and uh, some of the seller one of the sellers is, was was still trying to work out how to process all the um, all the paperwork in order to get it to me so uh, still got that to come actually there's some other stuff and I've got an order from Italy as well so there's a few more things to come but uh, yeah I'm kind of I think that's my motor and boating fix over for now I kind of uh, just went for it as soon as I found there was another motor the second sort of motor that came later then I, I, I thought I'd go for it but uh, yeah, obviously this one, I think this one's the one that needs a little bit of work just to see if it's going to work. 
Yes. Right, put that aside. But these are in really good condition, so that's good. Okay, so this was the motor that I was having a bit of issue with, and um, it's now working. So all it was was there was hair tangled around the uh, the shaft, the prop shaft, and now it's it's working fine. If you ever had to clean a vacuum cleaner or anything like that, and there are brushes that spin round, and there's always stuff that tangles up, and it just gets in the um, the the shaft of the vacuum cleaner where the brushes are and it just just uh, wedges in until basically the brush can't move and it was the same thing with this so I just took my pen knife and just managed to remove some of the hair and that's it. It wasn't great amount of hair, it wasn't gross. So there you go. So that's all the Lego motors for the vessels that I bought are working and the vessels will no doubt fight. Um, some of the stickers are just coming off but that's understandable because they're stickers and it's an old set so well it's an older set it's about what that's 2007 for the fire boat 2006 for the police boat so 2007 uh, 14 years old um, and the stickers are still on a boat which should go in water and stickers don't like water so I think that's pretty good now I just have to come up with a plan of uh, how to use these and what to do with them in a future video. Uh, I have no idea at the moment what it's going to be like but we've got motors, we've got boats and I know I've got holes that fit these uh, these motors as well so that's going to be good and I've got plenty of them now so I think I've got six or seven motors. Uh, I don't know whether I've got, I don't think I've got any more coming of these. Uh, I think that's everything boat related I've ordered coming. Oh no there's one more boat coming. Should be uh, that's from a UK seller that they've uh, just got a few delays on which is uh, and perfectly legit reasons as well so there you go that's uh, that's another haul and it's all boat related so anyway there you go uh, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one